<clears throat> okay. Okay, listen. Oof. So the reason I asked no, you to you stop by today, mad. I need you to watch this video. Am I in trouble? It's complicated. How, how complicated? Everything's under control, but I want you to watch this, and then we'll talk about it. I have one issue that I need to address like the numbers on the house, and that issue is MP. Let's talk about MP. I'm hearing his coach isn't a fan, thinks he's more into fame than actually hooping. And I got to say, I agree wholeheartedly. You, hear, you ever hear of an NBA player with a YouTube channel? Michael Jordan didn't have no YouTube channel. LeBron James don't have no YouTube channel. Let's get serious here, people. I'd be shocked if MP starts a game this year. This coach isn't starstruck. He's going to make MP earn every single minute, as it should be. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. All eyes are on MP now. Is he going to fold under the pressure? If I'm Harvey Lesser, the GM who overruled his coach, I'm up at night sweating all over this. Good luck, Mr. Lesser. You and MP are going to need This airs tonight. I've got a friend at Top Takes Daily sent it over as a favor. <laughs> so you telling me coach don't want me here? You weren't his first choice, but that's not necessarily a big deal. Oh, and you're sure about that? You know, front offices have varying opinions on prospects all the time. What's important is how you react okay, to so it. Okay, so how do you want me to react, Kristen? Well, that all depends on what you want and what you're willing to do to get it. What do you mean? So you can either wait and see or speed the process up. Um, but everything has drawbacks and benefits. It's not a simple calculation. Okay. Okay, okay. So we wait and see, right? Uh, I, I put in that work. I stay ready. I show out when yeah, I get you an could opportunity. Absolutely do that. Play nice. You know, build that vibe. Corporate. You know, I'm a company you just man. Just know that coach is in no rush to find out if he was wrong. So if you go this route, it might be a while before you see the minutes you and I both know you deserve. And that can affect the league's perception of you. And that could affect the market's perception and then eventually the bottom line. This yeah. could all go to plan MP, but those are the risks. Okay, so what if we try to speed all of this up? What does that look like? Go over Coach's head and speak to the GM directly. But doesn't Harvey know everything that's going on behind the scenes? Nah, he lets his coaches coach. That sounds like a dead end to me. No, no, but it does come with risks. Sure, Coach isn't going to like it, but he reports to the GM. So if you can present a solid argument to bump your minutes, it might be able to move the needle. Okay, so what about my brand positioning? What's the hit for a guy who complains about PT this early? Yeah, short term, it'll shape the conversation around you, no question. Some people love a player who speaks up for what he knows is right, and others want you to stay in your lane, listen to Coach, not question the organization. There's no right answer. It's up to you how you want to be perceived. Okay, so are there any other options to speed this up? Look, I'm way too good to be riding the bench over some, some organizational disagreement. You can always go public. Public how? We have our ways. <laughs> you got a devious side, Kristen. I like that. Oh, I'm an agent. It's what we do. Okay, so what, what are we talking? How does, what does that look like? Uh, well, something public yet subtle. Unmistakable, but also with a hint of plausible deniability. <laughs> Yo, what are you talking about? Try that again, but don't sound like a fortune cookie. Go to social. Find someone complaining about your playing time. Like the tweet. Are you serious? You know how many amateur sleuths there are digging up dirt on social every day? If you like a tweet saying you should be getting more playing time, I guarantee you the public will pick it up, amplify it, and bring the situation to a head. Okay, so what does that accomplish, though? Well, it forces the issue out into the light. Now the coach has to answer questions from the press about why you're not playing. But don't he have to answer those questions anyway once they see the Perkins video? Kendrick Perkins says a lot of things, not all of them are newsworthy. Okay. But if what he says is backed up by you doing something like that, ooh, now we got a legitimate news story. And more than that, we've got a controversy, which is something no team wants. So if you want to get into the starting lineup as quickly as possible, this is the way to do it. And, and, and that's quicker than just going to the GM? The owner's going to hear about this. And when that happens, situations get rectified immediately. You really think this could work, huh? But listen, here's the thing. Total honesty. I don't think this is the route for you. 
Okay, why is that? Be honest with yourself, MP. Are you really ready to take on a bigger role right now, to be a starter on this team at this moment? Because if you're not, and you publicly advocate for that, that's not a good look. So how do you want to play it? You don't have a preference. I'm here to provide you the menu, the pros and cons. In the end, it's up to you, because you have to own it and live with the consequences. <laughs> okay, well. But I need to have an answer before you leave this room, because if we're going to shape the narrative, we need to get out ahead of this now. You know, Kristen, it's, it's not worth the trouble right now. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna just keep my head down, put in that work, and I'm gonna show everybody what I'm capable of on the court, and that's gonna force them to have to play me. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna keep it old school. Yeah, it suits you. Okay, so we hunker down, now what? Just be yourself. And if anyone asks if you've got an issue with coach, be honest, just say, you don't want anything handed to you, and you've always believed in working here in your keep. Fans will love it. What up, Rick? Yeah, you know, not much. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about the new affiliation course. Oh, that new rooftop joint? Mm hmm Yeah, I saw some dudes up there, bro. Yeah, apparently they're open now, so I went and checked them out. They got any hoopers? They got sort of a regular crew, yeah. Got these guys that call themselves the Northside Knights, but the best one is this dude named Vlad the Impaler. <laughs> his actual name is the Impaler? What do you think? Probably not. <laughs> Look, the point is, if you're trying to put up some shots, I'd head over there. But if you're looking for some real competition, try to find that Vlad guy. I got it. Yeah, he's the captain of their City Slams team, too. What's that again? It's a competition run by Jackson Ellis. <laughs> uh, yo, that dude's hilarious, bro. Not much of a hooper, though, but oh, no, he's no, no, funny. No. He is a character, that's for sure. And, you know, he puts on this, uh, I don't want to call it a tournament. It's more like a series of challenges. You know, like weird rules and stuff. But they got dudes that can hoop, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It attracts some big names. You'd be surprised. You know, sort of like a neighborhood bragging rights kind of thing. Okay, okay. Look, I might have to check that out, bro. I mean, it's up to you. I just want you to know about it. Hey, look, good looking out, Rick. Always. There he is, the wardrobe trailblazer, the style originator. Yeah, I came to hang with the task generator. What's going on? Oh, I mean, if you want to stop pursuing your dreams, just let me know and I'll back off. But you feeling unappreciated, Ricky? That you need more hugs, bro? I mean, a simple thank you every once in a while would be nice. Thank you, Rick. Thank you for being the best business partner a guy can ask for, Ricky. That sounds pretty nice. All right, what we doing? <laughs> All right, so look, I've been thinking. We need to separate you from everybody else when it comes to this fashion thing. Right. I got an idea. All right, let me hear you. We need to step up your game day fits. We need you in that Russell Westbrook, LeBron James conversation. Every time they step off the bus, they got a brand new outfit. Yeah, I could do that. See? I mean, you could even do it at, like, park games. You're just gonna have to do it a lot more because it's not as many eyeballs on you, but yeah. Look, just think it over. It could be a great chance for you to do what you do best and second best at the same time. Hey, Bo, which one is which? Mm, I don't know. I'll let you know when I see you play and what you play in. <laughs> All right.